friends, welcome to Live In It Country. Today we're gonna to be working on a DIY project on the exterior of our farmhouse styled home. We really want when people walk up to the front of our house for it to feel welcoming and cozy. And so today's video, we are going to be sharing a tutorial on DIY shutters that are really inexpensive and very high quality and well made. So we are going to be sharing the step-by-step -step tutorial here on today's video, but I will also have everything in the description box below if you guys want to check that out as well. Now today I am so excited to be partnering up with Wagner and sharing how I stain our DIY shutters with this amazing paint sprayer. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with today's tutorial. that we started off by doing was we took our first piece of tongue and groove and cut it down to 66 and a half inches. Right here you're going to see us deciding if we wanted two pieces or three pieces of tongue and groove. For the width we decided with three which made it 14 inches in width. Here my husband is cutting down one of the sides of the tongue and groove to give it a finished look and this is what it's looking like so far. The next thing you're gonna need to do is cut the one by fours for the framing of the shutters and you're gonna have three different sizes, two of them at 14 inches, one of them at eight inches, and two of them at 59 and a half inches. So baby, we start now when we were shopping for this project, my husband happened to spot this Craig for 50% off at our local Home Depot. If you guys don't own one of these, it's truly a game changer. We had the cheaper version of this and I highly recommend this one. It just, it was so much easier to use. We highly recommend it. And we did the pocket holes for the top, middle, and bottom portions of the one by fours, and then used the pocket screws, of course, too. Can you feel it? Something is now it was time to add the wood glue. We did these in the creases of the tongue and groove as well as all over the sections where the one by fours were going to be. Now, wood glue I don't think is necessary. A brad nailer would work just fine, but we wanted to make sure this was extra secure and would last a lifetime. So that is exactly what you do in order to make one of these DIY shutters. And now that we have it accomplished, we are going to tackle the other three shutters. Our kids are playing right on the concrete in front of us. It was a beautiful evening now, and so this really took no time at all. Once you know how to make one, it's just a breeze to get done the rest. Now you guys might have just learned how to build these DIY shutters, but you guys don't know how we're gonna stain them and how we are going to hang them because we have some tips that you guys are going to want to stay tuned for. So keep watching because this is not over yet. Now while my husband was working on the shutters, the kids and I ran to Home Depot where we did a pickup order, which is super, super awesome. If you guys haven't done that, it is so convenient. And we went ahead and picked up some wood filler and unfortunately we ended up getting the white wood filler, which wouldn't work. So what we ended up doing was we didn't actually use wood filler for this project. We actually left the holes. You cannot even see them. And for the bigger holes for where we drilled it into our exterior of our home, we found a cool solution for that, which we'll share here in a little bit. I've been trying my best for a while, trying to please everyone who's around me. I've been putting on my face. Once the kids and I got home from Home Depot, Jason was just finishing up the last shutter. So I went ahead and went outside and set up everything so we could be extra prepared since we were running out of daylight. Who else is so thrown off with daylight savings? Let me know in the comments below. I am still not getting sleep. It's crazy. 
But I am bringing out, with the help of Little Brody, we are bringing out our new Wagner paint sprayer. And if you guys are familiar with our channel, you know how many DIY projects we do around here. And we do a ton of painting and a ton of staining. And with this particular project, it's going to take us about a minute for each shutter, which is honestly so amazing and I'm so excited to show you guys a little bit more about this awesome paint sprayer. It comes with this aiming guide and it comes with two different nozzles. One for painting multiple rooms, decks and sets of furniture and the other nozzle is for fine finishing like cabinets and trim. And whether you're spraying left to right or up to down, the Flexio 4000 has a twist on the nozzle to where you can spray in the direction that you need to go. I love that I can carry this little guy around and it's great for indoor use and outdoor use. And my favorite part has to be how easy this is to clean. We're gonna be using the early American wood stain color. And if you don't have a covered porch, I highly recommend wood sealer for this project. I ended up losing daylight fairly fast and I wanted to do all of the staining in one shot. That way I could avoid two cleanups. And so we did this the next evening and I'm so happy that I made the decision to do this. This is my first attempt of ever using a paint sprayer and goodness gracious, I feel like I'm never going to go back to rolling. I did roll the whole back of my fence and it took all day for me and I really wish that I would have had the Wagner paint sprayer back then because it would have just been an absolute breeze. And while I'm spraying, my husband is actually using a cloth to wipe away any of the extra stain. And I absolutely love this color. And we're actually going to be using this paint sprayer again to do our front porch because we just love the color that much. Now here I go, I am officially feeling like a pro and getting so comfortable doing this. It feels like it went by with a breeze and it took about a minute to spray each of the shutters. And I feel misplaced without you. Now we let these dry for about an hour before putting them up. Now, while we are putting these up, first of all, I am so excited to share with you guys the final reveal, but if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below, and we are more than happy to answer those questions to the best of our knowledge. Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to your bedroom? Now here's the progress of what it's looking like and Miss Aria thinks we're doing a photo shoot of her, which I think is so cute and adorable. Now to give it even a more richer and more finished look, I highly recommend picking up a plug cutter set as well as these button plugs. And we thought we were gonna have to bring out the stain again to touch these shutters up a little bit, but actually the oak button plugs blend in so well with our stain color, we didn't even need to touch up these shutters at all. Now here is the final look of what our DIY wood shutters look on the exterior of our home. If you think you know somebody who would enjoy this video, feel free to hit that share button and I will see you guys later on Living It Country.